Hey, this is AJ here from Savory Thoughts and today we are going to make this delicious French lemon cake. So this cake is extremely simple to make. Don't get intimidated just hearing that is a French lemon cake. Trust me, most of the stuff you need to do this cake, you already have. Plus, the advantage is that you have the step-by-step -step process, including picture guides, on our website at savorythoughts.com to help you in making it. First, start with the lemon glaze icing. And the reason why we are starting with the lemon glaze icing is because you have to put it in the refrigerator for an hour so it could set. And all you need for this process is a two and a half cup of powdered sugar, juice from two lemon plus the zest. Make sure to combine it extremely well that it looks silky smooth. Then place it in the refrigerator for at least an hour until your cake is ready. Preheat your oven to 350 before starting the next process. Our next step is to prepare the dry ingredients. And all you need is your all-purpose flour, your baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Mix them well and set it aside. Now for the wet ingredient, start with one egg. Um, you can use the electric mixer for this one if you want to or you can go old school. Whisk the eggs and sugar together until it becomes fluffy. Then add your lemon zest and lemon juice from one lemon. Then slowly add the milk. Slowly whisk in the dry ingredients until it is well combined. Then your final step is to melt the butter completely. Let the butter cool down slightly, then add it to the mixture. Once you have a nice, silky smooth texture, get a loaf pan. Now, on your loaf pan, you can either add oil. In our case, we added olive oil um, on the bottom of the loaf pan and on the sides. You can also add butter, whichever you prefer. And then go ahead and add the mixture. Using a butter knife or a baking knife, brush any leftover butter onto the knife and use that knife to make lines in the batter. Place the dish in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees or until the toothpick comes out clean when inserted in the mix. Allow the cake to cool down completely before doing anything with it, and that is removing it from the pan or adding the glaze on top. Once the cake is completely cool, go ahead and add the lemon glaze.
Now, if you would like, you can also add a little bit more lemon zest on top of the glaze. So that way you get this beautiful, vivid, lemony color. Place it back in the refrigerator and allow it to set. Hope you have enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave us a comment. And of course, if you like it, don't forget to give us a like, ring the bell, and stay tuned for more to come. See you in the next one.